Hey everybody, how are you doing? What's going on? Hello! I know that I said that today was going to be a Louis Vuitton giveaway video, or that this next video would be one, but I got a big Timu haul. I got a big Timu thing this morning at 7.30 in the morning is when they delivered it, which is crazy. And I've got a small home goods haul, so let's just haul, let's just haul it out. Let's just haul it out. And then, to be honest, I'm getting a little sick of, like, things. I want to move to a tiny house with no possessions at all. Like, it's really starting to get to me a little bit. Like, it's just too much stuff. So, there's that going on in my head, too. But... Uh, I do have this Louis Vuitton bag that I need to review and that I'm going to give away. But I looked up the YouTube rules for giveaways and stuff. And there's all these... I got to put this whole legal thing in the description. And I tried to get it ready today. And then I got... My nieces and I went to go see the Barbie movie today. And that was fun. Um, that's why I'm wearing my pink hoodie. The pink um, Machino shirt and for the fun of it I wore this big uh t all this stuff is from Timu I wore this big heart necklace that I hauled the other day and these little pink earrings and my pink hat and I wore my pink Fitville shoes <laughs> and everybody there was wearing pink in the movie theater it was so much fun to see how into it the people in the movie theater were but so we went to lunch then we went to Home Goods. Then we went to see the Barbie movie. Barbie. So let me show you what I got at Home Goods. Okay, the first thing that I'm really excited about. So I went back to Home Goods and all the stuff that I had put. Okay, so I don't know. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to my channel. I hope you stick around. And if you caught my last video, I told this story about how I went to Home Goods. And picked out some things, but then I got tired of waiting in line, so I put them away. I put them down and just left one of those people. Well, we went back to Home Goods today, and the stuff that I had put down was still there. Not where I had put it down, but they had put it back. I felt kind of bad that they had to put it back, but the most exciting thing from Home Goods, I don't know if you have a Home Goods store, they're owned by. TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They're part of that family of stores. I don't know why I did this. Hello! Okay. Oh, did that thing fall? I still don't know where the hand is. I haven't had time to get down under here and look at the hand and the flower. My brother put my bedside table to bed. Um, my bedside table, you guys. My brother put that together today for me. Now I just have to, to, like, move some stuff and get it. Okay, look at my haunted gingerbread house. Now, hold up a second. Wow, isn't it a masterpiece? It lights up. Let me move it forward. So this is the first thing I got at Home Goods, and I think it's Wait a minute. That this little silicone, silicone, silica, silica, silicone. Come on. All right. So let's take a look at it. It's got some ghosts. It's got some. Oh, this is the tag. I'm like, it's got a ribbon. Okay, it lights up. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Ghosts coming out of the windows. There's a little bat up here. Nothing looks like poop. Oh, I hear. I hear my brother home and he's going to get loud and you can see these sides. He's going to come up here and interrupt this video and that's going to be interesting. Okay. It's very fragile. I just felt something kind of move. Okay. Let's click this and light it up. <gasps> Whoa. So when it has batteries in it and Oh, uh, listen to him. Oh, the top window isn't really working. It's working a little bit. So the windows light up. 
you can kind of see. It'll look cool in the dark. I don't really care about the lights. I just think the gingerbread house is really cool. And I think this cost, yeah, $40, $39.99. So, um, let me put it down somewhere very carefully. I'm going to set it carefully over here. Listen, if we be really quiet, we can hear my brother yelling downstairs. He's been overserved. He's not yelling angrily. He's just talking really loudly. Listen. Well, now he stopped. Never mind. Okay, what else did we get at Home Goods? We got. Oh, I got cat hair in my nose. A skeleton nutcrackery kind of thing. He's not a real nutcracker. He doesn't have a thing back here, but he's got he's holding his jack-o'-lantern. He's got little skeleton um epaulets. Ep I don't know what they're called. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm bad at words. He's got a pink little ruffle. He's got little bones going up and down in his little suit and then you can see his little skeleton on the outside and he looks like he, he looks like I feel at the end of the day and I like his little pink trim on his hat and you know what you guys they also had one like this but it was a black cat and I'm kind of filled with regret that I didn't grab that too but he was $14.99 and he's fabulous so that was exciting and then finally I got this Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead lady. Okay, she looks a little strung out. That's kind of how I feel right now also after a long day of running around with, with children, which I'm not used to. <laughs> She's got a beautiful pink and gold dress on. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dress. She's carrying a beautiful bouquet of gold roses. She's just gorgeous. She's got gold, beautiful stuff in her hair. I've got a collection of these, and she's going to look fabulous with them. And she was $14.99 also. And it says made in China on the bottom. I'm so used to everything being made in China. So that's all I got at Home Goods. You guys, and yes, it's already code orange at Home Goods. They don't have all their Halloween stuff out at ours, but they have a few uh, shelves and sections of it. Okay, put that down here. All right, next, let's get into the Timu bag. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to reach back here and grab the first thing I can feel. Which is a long box. So we also have no water in my town. Our water supply has been contaminated with diesel fuel because of a leak. And we haven't had water since Thursday. And so I haven't taken a shower. I'm drinking bottled water. I'm parched. We're not supposed to use the tap water. We're not supposed to shower, wash our hands, anything. It's hell. It's hell on earth. The poor clover is down here. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see the people? I don't think I can. T I can't. If I turn it, my whole studio will fall down. I'm sorry, you guys. I know you want to see clover. She's kind of off camera. There she is. This is her little tail right here. Okay, all right. All right, maybe she'll get there. Here she comes. All right, you can lay back down. Now we're going to have a problem. All right, what's in this box? So anyway, pot, water, I miss it so much. All right, here's what's in this. I'm excited about it, of course. When are they going to stop? It's another neon sign. Hello, this time it's Pac-Man and the ghosts. 
And this is also USB only, but thank you to the person who suggested that I connect these to a power bank instead of like trying to rig these up with extension cords and plug them into a USB plug. So this is going to look fabulous when it's plugged in. I don't know which one I'm gonna put up first, probably the UFO. Let me see, do I hear him coming upstairs? No, okay. All right, put that down in the trash. What else is in here? Oh, what did I pay for that, you guys? I paid. Do you hear him? He's had a good time out with the boys. They went to an Irish pub or something and spent all day there today. Oh, that's in another order. Okay, there are two orders in this bag. So let me just grab this order, right, Clover? Right, little Clover. She's a little Clover. She's got a lot of fans. Hello. All right, it was $22.48. I'm not complaining. Okay, what else is in here? What else is in here? Here's another little box. Let's see what the heck this is. What is it? What is it? Huh? Okay, can you sit down and help me? Can you help me? Oh, I know what this is. I don't think it's in this order. I love this bouncing back and forth in between orders and then Clover's licking me. That tickles, Clover. All right. All right. More Halloween stuff. More Halloween stuff. I can't see that. Okay, now I can see that. Where are my glasses? All right, it's a wooden 3D Halloween pumpkin indoor decorative ornament. Wow, let's take it out. It is $4.79, cents. $4 And here it is. It is carved out of wood and it's really cool, you guys. I like it a lot. I mean, it doesn't light up or anything like that. Here's, you know, the bottom, the sides, the top, but it's got a little witch. It's got ghosts. It's got a haunted house. It's got jack-o'-lanterns. It's got a spooky tree with an owl. It's got everything you need for Halloween. Cheese for the thumbnail. Hello, thumbnail. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Hello, is that falling down? Probably. All right, put it over here with my other Halloween stuff. It's going to be a happy Halloween in my tiny house with no possessions. Okay, let me get back. Okay, next. Oh, this is, all right, you guys, I ended up getting somewhere in here is the Stanley Cup dupe. I finally caved and got one too because I'm jealous of everybody and I got two of these little things to go on the bottom of the Stanley Cup. The pink one was $2.24 and this multicolored one was $1.79. So let me wait and get the cup and then we'll put it all together and see what it looks like. Where is the cup? Like, you haven't seen them on everybody else's channel before, but you're going to see it on mine, too. All right, I feel it. I feel it. Here's the box. Stanley Cup dupe. Woo! I got the iridescent blue and pink one. That is huge, you guys. And it comes with a top. Does it come with the straw? It better come with the straw. What do you think, Clover? I see a straw over here. Okay, for a minute I was a little bit worried. The box sure does look like something out of, you know, oh, you guys, I heard that in Canada, the Timu bags are just plain white all of a sudden. Oh my gosh, and I started thinking about it, and I started thinking, if they make plain white bags here, 
Would it be as exciting? I don't think it would, you guys. Oops. A clover wanted to play with that. All right, so I guess we put the straw. That was loud. Okay, so then I got either like a pink thing. That doesn't really match though, which is why I'm glad I kind of got this rainbow one. I didn't, I couldn't tell, like I couldn't decide. So I just was like, well, they're only like a dollar or two dollars each. So I'll just get them both. Let me open this. Let me get my scissors and get it open. Okay, so this little rubbery thing goes down here. Okay, that looks really unicornish. Okay, nice. Or I have a plain pink one if I want to just maybe not be so extra with it. But I like this one better than, I don't know. You tell me, but we're not done yet. I think I got the straw. Wow, this is big, you guys. Look, here's the top of my head. <laughs> it goes all the way down to my shoulder. It's bigger than my head. Holy cow, just the main part of it is big, as big as my head. They are not kidding when they say, what are these 40 ounces? Okay, what did I pay for my... The reason I bought this is because I got... Oh, no, it's not. I got a good deal... No, I didn't. I paid $15.47 for this thing. But I'm the only one in the office who doesn't have one, you guys. So, well, everyone in my office, they have real ones. But they don't need to know that mine is fake. I mean, except it doesn't say Stanley Cup on it. But who cares? How much are the real Stanley Cups? I don't even know. Okay, put this trash down here. Put these scissors carefully right here so they don't hurt little. Yeah. Little clovers lying down again. Okay, what else is in here? More Halloween stuff. I'm ready for Halloween. It's been a day, you guys. I am so thirsty. And you know, I haven't been able to fill up my big jug of water because we have diesel fuel in our water. Okay, these are fabulous. These are ghost earrings. They're holding little jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> right on. Awesome. Happy Halloween, everybody. Woo! I wonder if I'll wear them like this so the jack-o'-lanterns are facing out. Yeah. All right. We'll put that here. I got the jewelry bag right here because I was giving. So I gave the, so I had all those big cats, you guys, out and I put them all out downstairs for my nieces to choose um, some. And so my one niece chose the little rainbow cat and my other niece chose the hamburger cat, which I was kind of bummed about, not going to lie. I was like, eh. but um, she, my little niece chose the hamburger cat. And I actually tried to get them to choose more. I'm like, take them all, take them all. But no. Okay, so the ghost earrings were $1.34. And they're still $1.34. Are they still $1.34? They are still $1.34. Okay, what else is in here? This is a dupe of, look, I want to say a Michael Kors bag, but I could be wrong. I saw it on Amber, that girl's channel. She hauled it, and I wanted it. Because I don't have any purses. <laughs> and instead of Michael Kors, it says Mickey Ken, but I could be wrong, you guys. I could be way wrong. It could be someone completely different, like um, Steve Madden, actually. I don't know, you guys. I'm not the one to really come to for, like, what's it a dupe of bags, unless it's something that I'll show you in a minute that I knew immediately when I saw it. But 
This is really beautiful. It's a beautiful tomato red. It's got beautiful long chain strap with a leather top, leather and chain strap. And it's just a basic bag that doesn't have much going on inside at all. It's got a zippered pocket and a little leather I cannot see what that says to save my life. It probably says Mickey Ken. Does it? What if it said the real thing inside? Let me look and see. Where's my flashlight? I, it says Mickey Ken inside on a little leather tag, but it still looks really pretty. Mickey Ken is a lot better than fashion in bags or what they say sometimes or the other goofy things they say. Let me see if it's in this order. It's in the other order. Oh, no. There it is. How much did I pay for this? $16.49. I paid $16.49 for yet another bag. Do you hear my brother down there? He's loud. He's boisterous. Boisterous is the word we're looking for. Or we could just say drunk. Okay. What is it? I keep listening to him and praying that you guys, that the microphone isn't picking it up. Caffeine repair eye cream. Now I just, I went back on my vow not to try any Timu skincare products because caffeine really does help get these puffy bags down under your eyes in the morning. And when I saw caffeine and this kept coming up in my feed and it was $8 and 48, no, $7. I paid $7 and 64 cents for it. And I'm looking forward to trying it in the morning and see what it does for my puffy, puffy, I slept two I slept two hours eye bags. I'm getting distracted. He's gonna come in here and it's gonna be interesting to see how that goes down. Okay, cool. Okay, let's throw it in this bag. Okay. Now we have something. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> you guys, you take water away. I mean, we have, okay, so the minute, of course, everybody went nuts when they announced that don't drink the water, don't touch the water, don't do anything to the water. And everybody ran to Kroger and people were nuts. They were just filling up their carts to the brim with all the bottled water and they didn't care. And I've never seen anything like it in my life. And I called my brother, the one that's downstairs being a little bit rowdy right now. And I said, he lives in another city. And I'm like, please go to, to your Kroger right now and get a gigantic thing of bottled water. So he did. So he was good for that at least. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like him a lot. So we at least got some, but at our store here, people went nuts in the store like Day of the Dead or Night of the Living Dead or some kind of the Walking Dead apocalypse or something. Just like clawing over each other in the water aisle, trying to get all the water they could. I've just, oh, it was an ugly side of humanity. It reminded me a lot of COVID with the toilet paper thing all over again. And I hated it. And they don't know when we're going to have water again. They keep saying, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Now it's been Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And now tomorrow they said, don't, no, it's not going to be tomorrow. So I'm tempted to just take a shower anyway. Okay, here, or I'll have to drive to another city and take a shower. These are Christmas little cute um, coffee earrings, latte peppermint mocha, whatever you want to call it. They look like little Starbucks mugs. They're really cute. They're $2.11 for these 
fashion jewelry earrings. Let me put them in my jewelry case. I better just leave this right here because there I know there are more earrings in this order. Parched. I can feel my lips getting all dry. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No. Maybe. I don't know. If so, I don't care. I'm too thirsty and worn out from the Barbie movie, which was a full two hours long. So it was good. But like toward the end, I was kind of starting to feel like the two hours of the movie and just going, oh, come on, Barbie. Get on with your quest. Okay, here's another ridiculously, it's a pair of ridiculously small earrings. Ridiculously small. I've had enough of these. Now, I know we joke about how I thought they would be bigger, but I mean, really, these look like earrings. They probably are earrings for a little kid. And let me see. They are mini Mouse earrings, and one earring is her little dotted bow, and the other earring is the mini Mouse glove. But am I going to be able to get them out? Maybe not. I'm going to have to cut the top of that thing. Oh my. Can I even show this to you? There's my mom yelling too. Everybody's yelling downstairs. Oh, don't. Oh, this is impossible. Here's the little white glove. Here's the little red dotted bow. One goes in each ear. I have no idea, you guys. Whatever. That's what I have to say about them. It's kind of whatever. And they've got little plastic earring backs in them. And they were... And the, they're already bent. I don't know how I feel about those. What did I pay for them? Are they in this order? There's underwear in this order. Oh my gosh. Okay, I paid. I can't find them. I'm sure. Oh, here they are. Bow Knot Palm Design Retro Cut. Okay, I paid $1.07 for those. So I guess I shouldn't be beaching about it too much. Okay, let's look at. Here's the dupe that I posted to in my community post. And I'm pretty excited about this because I love Brighton. And I loved it, like when they came out with these tote bags that I think were like $150. I thought they were really cool, but I didn't, but not cool enough for me to spend $150 on. Now in this dust bag, I can't believe this because this, I have to look at this. This is the In Love We Trust tote bag from Brighton. And I think it even says, yeah, on the bottom, except it says Brighton on the bottom, except backwards. It says, uh, I don't know what that says, 1991. Is that what that says? Love is all you need, Brighton. That's crazy. Except when I look at it, it's it's backwards. So maybe that's how they get away with it. And then the back of it is really cute with a cartoon dog and whatever in the world that says. It says love and joy. And I can't read the bottom of that. And then the inside... Oh, has a zippered pocket with a cool uh, lady on it. Queen of Hearts in here. And it zips. Does the zipper say Brighton? No. It's about to go, whoa. But the zipper is like a really cool um, black uh, plastic zipper so it's got a zippered pouch inside but that's all it doesn't close and I just think it's so cool you guys I'm really excited I love the drawings of the buckles at the top and the details and just the 
just the beautiful details that went into this. It looks like what they did was they took the whole thing and they printed it backwards and then they drew on the hardware and the little, it's just really neat. It's very cool. And, I and then the inside is also lined with, the inside lining has the, these different hearts that are lined. This is still available and it is, let me see how much I paid for this. $11.99. Let me see if it's still $11.99. $11.99 and it's still there. So really cool, bright and dupe. Bright and replica, really. I mean, it looks just like the real thing. If you go on the Brighton website, you can see the exact same tote bag. Look at all of this. Like, there's all this paper on the floor. I hate my life right now. I hate it so much. All right, so underwear. I'll just show you one pair. Really, I bought more? Yeah, because it looked like it was made of cotton. But it feels like it's made of rubber. They're just these little high-cut... Briefs. Let's say love on this on them. Cute <laughs> thumbnail. I don't think so. For this underwear, I paid. How much did you pay for your underwear, ma'am? I paid. $5.79 for, oh, they're sold out. How many pairs are in here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five pairs for $5.79. They come in gray, yellow, black, and pink. Gray, yellow, black, pink, and red. Cool. And I don't know what they're made out of, you guys. They feel kind of, um, they feel like rough cotton. So they don't feel like, they don't feel like swimming suit bottoms, which is important. But they're not the softest cotton in the world either. This is, oh, it's another baseball cap rack that you stick on. I got two of them because I learned that one of these, you guys, if I put like six base, so you stick it on the wall right here. Let me just take it out. You stick it on the wall and you stick your baseball caps, you hang your baseball caps on it. But man, I put six baseball caps on one and the whole thing came crashing to the ground. So I think that... The, Hopefully, they will hold about three each. It should come with an adhesive patch, and it did. It's all crumpled up, which kind of sucks, but I'll try. If not, I've got enough sticky things to stick this on. Is it a bug, Clover? Oh, it's a big bug. Go get it, Clover. Oh, it's like one of those big, um, what do you call those flies with the really long legs and wings? Horse fly? No. Not a horse fly. That's like a big, big fly with those, ooh, those big flies with the big legs and the big wings and the get out of my room. Oh, it's going to come over here to the light. I know it is. What did I pay for that baseball cap thing? $1.49. This is going to go on and on and on and on and on. This is something that's exciting too. Let's put our hand in and feel it first. Ooh, it feels really rough. It doesn't feel slick and shiny, but it doesn't feel really soft. Maybe some fabric softener. It's a big t-shirt. I deliver. It's a man's t-shirt, and I deliberately got like the biggest size because I just wanted to sleep in it. And it says... Um, what does it say? It says pumpkin junkie, but it looks like a cigarette case. And then it says autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. Pumpkin junkie. Pumpkin junkie t-shirt. There it is. 
What did we pay for that, Clover? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we paid $9. And where are my glasses? Are they on my head? Where are my glasses, Clover? Where are my old lady glasses? I can't see all of a sudden. And now I don't have a bedside table, so they can't be on theirs. I have another pair. Don't worry. There's always a backup pair for a backup pair for a backup pair. I need my old lady. Are they on my... No. Here, let me check it out. In my, I took my pink, uh, the tote bag to the Barbie movie today, too. And, man, I could fit my iPad in this, which was cool. I had to do some... I had to keep... I was on call for work for because of this water thing. And so I had to bring my iPad with me in case um, I had to jump into action and do some things. And it fit in that, the tote bag. Okay, so I paid for Pumpkin Junkie, $9.69. Is it still there? Now it's $10.78. It also comes in white and black. I got the gray, but you could get it in white and you could get it in black. It's men's. I got 2XL. Oh, I should have gotten 4XL just for the fun of it. But, oh well. It's still big. Okay, this pair of glasses I'm going to take off and I'm going to stick right here. Next. I don't know. I don't know. The next thing is a cat headband with matching earrings that I was thinking of Halloween. Like, what can I wear to the office that I can just stick on my head? Or maybe it doesn't have earrings. It just has a little, it's a little festive cat headband with like little charms dangling off of it even cute kind of I don't know what those charms are I have to look to see but those I think this thing was five dollars yeah five dollars and 97 cents oh I'll show you the picture these aren't just charms they go all the way down once you take them out of the plastic bag. Those two strips go all the way down the sides of your head. So, I was going to say, what, what is happening there? So, that's kind of cool. Now, I want to open them, kind of. Let's open one. Dun, 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 dun. Would I recommend the Barbie movie? Sure, if you're in the mood for something kind of light and satirical in a way and just kind of a lot of funny kind of inside jokes. And it's more for grown-ups really than kids. But it's got a lot, it's really colorful, of course. But I like my uh, sister-in-law wants to see it again. And I would not see it twice. I mean, I'll watch it again someday when it comes out on TV or whatever, or stream somewhere, like on... Okay, so here's what one of these things looks like hanging down. What? Oops, there's the other one. It just fell off. It's okay, have no fear. They clip on right here with these little things. So, okay, it's really fancy. It's like a real hardcore headdress. What do you think about that? Yeah. It's a cat head just like you. All right. This is going to get lost. It has a little pin that goes in here. I'm scared this thing is going to fall apart. You guys, you know what broke today? The reason why the lighting looks kind of strange is because I'm using a different lighting system for system. I'm using a different lighting setup for this video because my big fill light studio light that I used to use for these videos, the wire suddenly frayed and just fell apart. So after about, uh-oh, 
So after about two months, I mean, the thing completely fell apart, which makes me really disappointed in it. And, you know, I was so disappointed that I ordered the exact same one again because it was a really awesome light for my videos. And this one is okay. It's just way smaller. Oh, here are my other glasses. This is never going to end. We're going to be here all night. I hope you guys are drinking something or doing something entertaining while you're watching this. Because this is long. Am I even going to upload this tonight? You guys, this might be Sunday when I upload this. Because it is... What time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9.13 p.m. It's 9.13 p.m. Alexa, sing me a lullaby. I don't need to sleep. At night I stay awake. At night I stay awake. And think without, without a break. break. But you need to sleep. Time you say goodnight, I wonder what it's like. I'm not in the sky, but you and I could drift away, drift away on a cloud. <laughs> drift away, drift away on a cloud. Okay, Alexa, stop. <laughs> That's my favorite song. What is this? Meanwhile, I was just stalling while I figure out what this is. It's a necklace with a little clover on the end. I guess I was trying to go for a Louis Vuitton vibe, but I don't know. Who knows? It's fine. I mean, you know, read my palm. I pay. It's four leaf clover. It was a dollar eighty-seven. Um. Am I that excited about it? Not really. If I saw it in a store, would I buy it? No. Right, Clover? <laughs> Clover always answers. Yeah, she grumpy. Okay, sorry for that little break. And then I got another chain because it was kind of old school. It reminded me of like, I don't know, something I'd, I'd steal from my mom in the 80s and wear. It's like a braided, um, three color, two color, three color, copper, no, bronze, gold, and silver chain. And I don't know, you guys, what, if I saw it in a store, would I buy it? I have no idea. And is it in this order? No. Do we care how much it costs? Probably not. Somebody, somebody said that in my video. They're like, the prices are boring. And I'm like, well, some people then get on my case, though, if I don't give the prices. And titanium steel three-color threaded chain gold steel and rose gold. Okay. For $2.42. All right. Put that in the jewelry case full of where jewelry goes to die. I really feel like these Timu hauls, I put it all in this jewelry case. And then I really have to go through this case and sort everything. Next are some little hearts. They're kind of hard to see because they're upside down. But they're little weird heart, weird looking, weird looking hearts that clip on your ears sideways. And I don't know. If I saw them in a store, would I buy them? No. But we weren't using that rule back then. Heart-shaped, white, synthetic. I don't know, whatever. 89 cents. Notice how I'm not like, oh, they're so cute. Way, yee, woohoo. No, I'm kind of tired. And this thing is a fish uh, bone chain with a faux pearl on it. All right, now first, let's look at what it looks like in the 
What it looks like in the picture is this, which looks kind of cool, right? What it looks like in the package. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to upload this tonight, Saturday night, you guys. By the time YouTube gets done checking it for obscene things or whatever and running copyright checks on it and stuff, it's going to be like 11 o'clock and... Who's going to be watching then? I'd rather get up tomorrow morning and upload this video. Okay, it's cool. I think I like it. I think I like it, Clover. Looks a little painful. I got to crack this thing open a little bit. Here. It's pretty. I'm not disappointed. I got the silver one. Oops. And sometimes it's hard to be alone, fastening jewelry by myself. Okay. I have way too many necklaces on. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Well, you kind of get the gist of it. It's nice. Well, how much did that cost again? A dollar thirty-four lightning deal. Um. This in here. I already have this choker. It's got a Fendi Versace vibe, but um, I get so many compliments on it that I decided to buy another one so I could have two because that's just the way I roll. If I have something cheap that I really like, um, I'll get it. Well, especially from Timu, I'll get another one. Just like I have, just like I have a bunch of those balloon dog necklaces. I got this thing again, and it is not part of this order. Let me bounce back to the other order. It's a dollar. It's only a dollar eighty-eight. So, I got another one of these. I love this necklace. Put it in the jewelry box. But you need to sleep. <laughs> she doesn't like that song. Okay, so for my Stanley Cup dupe, I got this straw cover. So, now we can see what it looks like on. See, if it's, it's a little straw cap to keep... Big scary bugs from getting in your straws. Where is my Stanley Cup now? Oh Lord. Buried. So it goes on top of it. Like this. And then the little. It matches beautifully. I'm so excited. Okay there. Perfect. Cute. It's cute. Take that girl who sits across from me. I got a Stanley Cup too. Wait, can I turn it or I don't Okay, well whatever. It's cool. All right, I'm excited about that. I didn't think I would be. I thought I'd be like, "Oh gosh, I I conformed and got the same cup as everybody else." Blah blah blah, but I really love that cup. Now I understand why people get so excited about those things. These are little earrings that look like star. Let's let's check them out. They look like stars and they climb up your earrings or down your ears or down your ears. So you put them so they look like this. So imagine them like they're going to stay up though. Like okay, like this would go on this ear, but it would just swing down and hang down though. Do they have a way to stay up on? No, I don't know. They're stars, you guys, and they're supposed to climb up your ears, but I have a feeling they're going to just drop down like dangly stars. They are, they were only 67 cents. So if I saw them in the store, would I buy them? No. These I also saw on Amber That Girl's channel. She's going to think I'm stalking her. Uh, I like her videos. I have other channels I need to shout out to, you guys. I'm not blowing you off. And I have people who um, 
I watch and I'm keep meaning to make a list and put it in my description box of the channels, some channels and some small channels that we should all support. These have a oop, Versace vibe or a Fendi vibe, whatever kind of vibe you want. They've got a nice designer vibe and I really like these earrings a lot. They are dupes for something and Amber, that girl, talked about them and I just said, yeah, those are fabulous and went and clicked on her link and bought them for $2.69. And those are going to be worn as soon as I can wash my hair and not wear a baseball cap. Next is a ring. Well, all right. We love rings. It's a little, it said titanium, you guys, which size seven. Oh dear. <gasps> Don't panic. Okay, there. Uh, it's a little ring. Oh, it's got little... This is a dupe, too, of something. <laughs> I'm really good with the dupes. Where are my glasses? Is, are those Roman numerals going around it? Yeah, it's like a watch face. Okay, yeah, those are Roman numerals going around around it. Come on, focus on that. They're nice. Don't look at my cut up finger. Titanium steel plated golden blah 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 dollar seventy seven. I really like it. I like it a lot. I'm excited about it. It's even got a size seven sticker on it, which I don't really need. Take that off. Okay, let me throw this away. You gotta keep up with the garbage which is getting away from me. What in the world? Holy cow, these are small. These are Space Invaders earrings that I was excited about until I saw them. And obviously they're for like five-year-old girls. I've had it with these tiny studs, you guys, that you can barely see, let alone hold. Let me try to get this up way up to the camera. Little Space Invader earrings. Cool concept. If they were only bigger, I'd be excited about it. But they are tiny. Wow. People aren't even going to be able to tell what they are. If I saw them in a store, would I buy them? Not that small, I wouldn't. They are 89 cents. I don't know why they say men's. I don't, team it was strange. It'll say men's whatever or when it's clearly like what man would wear those. Okay, I thought this was a necklace because I'm an idiot and it's really a bracelet and it's really beautiful. And I thought it would be a really cool necklace to wear with this one sweater. And then later I went back and I saw it in my feed again. And I saw that it said bracelet. And I was like, oh, well, I got the matching necklace. But then I went back and looked at my order. And no, I bought the bracelet too. But it's a really awesome ocean themed. Let me be careful and not break it. It's an ocean themed a knot. It's a sea themed. It's bracelet. It's really pretty. It's got seahorses, starfish, really pretty jewels, really pretty shells, seaweed. It's fabulous. Gosh, it's fantastic. And it's got a little tea ring close, closure. And I think that I can wear it. It's got two rings, fortunately. So it's got two sizing rings and I think that if I put it on the smallest one I think I can actually wear this can I do it with one hand on camera while I'm filming I don't know probably not I'm not in the sky but yeah here it is on the small good it hangs down but it's cool and I don't want it to be too tight it's beautiful, really pretty. 
What did I pay for that? I paid $5.47 for it. Don't you think it's pretty? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, is that it? Are we done? I feel like we've been doing this forever. No, we're not done. We have a necklace that is on a very small chain. And I feel perplexed. Wow, I'm blind. Okay, it's a necklace that you fasten like this around your neck. And it's a lariat necklace, and it hangs down like so. Stop it. Okay, nice. I mean, you know, it is what it is, and it is... Not in that order, of course not. Uh oh, my brother's coming up here. Dun 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 dun. Here he comes. It was fifty seven cents. Holy cow! The first time I actually got some, now it's forty seven cents. I think that's the one time I finally found something for forty seven cents on Timu. Okay, I think this is the last thing. These are little pink gummy bear earrings, and I would have worn them today if I would have opened this earlier. I think I've already bought these, or I think if I have, I bought them in another color. They were 98 cents. How much are they right now? 97 cents. And you can get them in other colors. I mean, they come in purple and all the blue, any other color you want. I picked pink because pink goes with everything. Okay, I think that's it, you guys. I think this is finally an hour-long video, which my demographics say that I like. My analytics say that people like the long ones. So, you got a long one. All right, empty. Is it empty? Yeah. All right, it's empty. Okay. I'm sorry that wasn't a barrel of laughs. It's it's a long, dry, thirsty kind of week. And, but if you stayed till the very end and watched all that, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I love and appreciate you guys. And I don't know, I'm not gonna upload this tonight. Alexa, what time is it? It's 9.31 p.m. Yeah, I'm probably not going to upload this tonight. I'll probably upload it tomorrow morning. Anywho, whatever it is, whatever day it is, whatever day, night, morning, I hope you're having a good one. Thank you so much for watching. And I will next... I gotta go. Okay, bye, you guys. I don't know what the next video might be. It might be another haul. It might be a giveaway. Bye-bye.